Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. <laughs> it's DevFest season again, which means there's likely to be a community-run developer event near you sometime in the next three months. Head on over to the post to find your local DevFest so you can hang out with other developers and share ideas about Firebase, the Google Cloud Platform, machine learning with TensorFlow, web development, and more. The Clojure compiler is now available in pure JavaScript. It's a JavaScript optimizer, transcompiler, and type checker which compiles your code into a high-performance minified version. Nearly every web front-end at Google uses it to serve the smallest, fastest code possible, and now you can run it under Node.js with support for some popular build tools. Check out the post for links to the docs, a demo project, and some getting started tips. If you have an app you're getting ready to launch on Google Play, you can nominate it to be part of the Early Access Collection. It's the place for new Android titles that are running an open beta available for anyone to try before they officially launch. For more info, including who is using this and why, check out the post linked below. Hutch is a London-based mobile studio focusing entirely on racing games with more than 10 million players on Google Play. For their latest game, MMX Hill Climb, they used A-B testing and game analytics to improve the game design and experience resulting in more than 48 minutes of daily active usage per user. Check out the video on this post to hear them explain how. Google Cloud Endpoints is a distributed API management suite that lets you deploy, protect, monitor, and manage APIs written in any language and running on the Google Cloud platform. Check out this post to read about the newest set of features in open source components now in open beta. This is a post by a web engineer here at Google who used the Google Cloud Platform stack to create a bespoke machine learning system. It's a really cool look at how to use multiple cloud components together for prototyping full end-to-end -end systems. And as long as we're talking about machine learning, here's a post on the release of Inception ResNet v2. It's a convolutional neural network that achieves a new state of the art in terms of accuracy on the ImageNet large-scale visual recognition challenge image classification benchmark. <laughs> for an explanation of what that means and links to the GitHub project, check out the post. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.